I recreated this scene from Breaking Bad Season 4 Episode 11 during a bathroom renovation. This idea came to life when I realised the floor would have to be removed due to a number of leaks. The further I got into the demolition, I realised there were three big challenges to getting this bucket shot right. The first was mounting the camera properly to get a true top down angle. Second was the lighting for the foreground and under the floor. And third was controlling the camera remotely and setting the exposure and focus settings when it's up in the roof and I'm the subject under the floor. So here's the final shot. Okay, starting with mounting the camera. This was easy because I had to remove the ceiling anyway. And if that wasn't an option, my next recommendation would be a C stand like this one. Just make sure you have some weights to support the stand and stop it falling over. If you are going to use a stand, you'll have to pick up this camera mount as well. This connects your camera to the pole of the stand and any of these will do the job. But in this case, I just taped the tripod to the ceiling joist like I'm doing here. So I lit the entire scene with just the one light, the Godox SL60. What I love about this light is that it's studio quality at a beginner's price. It comes with everything from the remote, stand and the softbox. I position this in the bottom left corner to create a nice big drop shadow between the floor and the ground as you can see here. I wanted that there to highlight the fact that I'm actually underneath the floor. If I lit the scene from straight above, you would have a minimal shadow and it would be harder to understand if I'm actually under the floor. This however did mean that the right hand side of the scene here was a little bit sort of underexposed, but I was willing to accept that in order to get the uh, exaggerated drop shadow. Under the floor, I did take this head torch to just move around and create different lighting on my face, um, it was just the smallest and easiest way to get lighting underneath the floor. The final challenge was setting the exposure and focus on the camera up in the roof when I'm the subject and I've got to get down the ladder and under the floor. I thought this was a great opportunity to try the Wi-Fi connection via the Canon app. And this went well for about 60 seconds and then the connection failed and then it failed again and I had to keep climbing out from the floor and restarting the camera. So after reviewing the first shot, I realized that Wi-Fi remote was not reliable and nor was autofocus. So I left the torch under the floor and zoomed in on the plumbing pipe as that was where my head will be. And I manually set focus to the pipe. Then all that left was the exposure. So I set my ISO to 6400 to avoid noise in the shadows going any higher. I had a one over 50 shutter speed because my frame rate is 25 frames a second. And that leaves the aperture, which I wanted as high as possible to get as much of the scene in focus as possible. And this ended up at about an f-stop of 6.3 to properly expose the scene. Once all that was dialed, I hit record and climbed down the ladder to complete the shot. Capturing the thumbnail. So for that, I put the camera into self timer mode. I set it to about five second intervals between shots and took about 30 to 40 shots, pulling all sorts of stupid faces just to see what would work well as a thumbnail. I always try and take photos for thumbnails instead of screen captures from video. It's much more high resolution and you just got more room to play with in post-production. I also made a video on how to take a panning shot without a low aperture. So if you like this video, please check that out and hit that subscribe button for more. I'll see you on the next one.